Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Easy English. Yet again, once more, we are going over the IELTS writing section of the test. And in today's video, we are going over five types of sentences you should avoid writing. But guys, let me tell you something here. The reason that I've been making a lot of videos on writing section is that I see the majority of my students scoring lower in the writing section. Okay, so I want to focus on this part, and I'm pretty sure that you would find this video beneficial, so stick till the end and try to learn. The first phrase in the list is in my opinion or I think. All right, I have a question for you. Why don't you just write what your opinion is instead of saying in my opinion or I think. In my opinion, climate change is a serious issue. Climate change is a serious issue, and then you can spend the rest of your time explaining how serious this issue is. Isn't that better? Taking a look at the second sentence, this essay will discuss. Uh, the example is this essay will discuss the impact of technology on modern society. Guys, one of the things that you need to work on if you want to elevate your score of writing is to be more direct. You need to practice directness. English is a very direct language. So if you want to write a letter to a company or organization to ask them for something, in the first line of your letter, you would do it. I know in many other languages, it's more polite if you beat around the bush a little bit in the beginning of your request, but English is super direct. So you don't want to make anything mysterious. You just want to let the cat out. You know what I'm saying? So you want to just say what you want to say. So if it were me, I would say technology has impacted the way we manage our daily tasks and communicate with each other, which are the two things that I will literally discuss in my essay. So I'm going to say what I'm going to discuss in the essay instead of just saying that I will discuss them. The third one is I am going to talk about. Still very common. I see a lot of people like writing that in their essays to ask you. The thing that is wrong with I and you in your essay is that it would make your tone of argument more casual. And you don't want to do that. You want to make it academic, formal. So instead of saying I am going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of globalization, you can say globalization has both advantages and disadvantages, which is more formal. It sounds better. Up next, we got there are many reasons for this. So the wrong example is there are many reasons for this, such as economic factors and social changes. I'm going to transition that into this sentence. Economic factors and social changes contribute to this phenomenon. Now, this is another instance of using extra words, unnecessary words. All right, it's pretty much personal. This last structure that I'm showing you, on the one hand, on the other hand, you have no idea. You cannot even imagine how many of you out there write this. Like, I don't know, for some reason, everybody just keeps using this type of structure in their essay. I mean, I kind of understand the reason because you want to talk about contrasting ideas and you're looking for a transitional word or phrase, but there are millions of transitional words and phrases in English that you can utilize. Why do you just stick with this one? Like, I call it a hand problem. Like, one hand, the other hand. It's not, like it takes away from the uniqueness of your essays. Okay, so try to look out for better ways to express your opinions and transition from one idea to another one, um, from one paragraph to another paragraph. I made a video on the essential structures that you need to write in your essays and the type of sentences that you need. So make sure that you check out that video. This brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and you know where you can reach me. You can reach me on Preply.